you guys, I'm just loving my face. Like, ah! I'm gonna have to start putting on makeup because it's HD. Anyway. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thanks for returning. I have been receiving so much love from you guys. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. This channel is all about my journey in trying to conceive and I hope you subscribe, hit that notification bell and keep tuning in. Now, we're gonna get into the purpose of this video. I'm excited to do this. Today's video is gonna be all about the Ava Fertility Tracker Bracelet. And here is what it looks like. I love this thing. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but that's what it looks like. And I have been such a fan of this bracelet. And we're gonna kinda go over why I'm a fan and what it's done for me and possibly some of the things that I think they can improve on. So let's get into it. So completely my own opinion, I am not getting paid by Ava to do this break, to do this review. I am totally giving my unsolicited advice slash opinion. So here you go. The number one question I get about the bracelet is, does it work? Yes. It works for me. So the reason why I started using the bracelet was because I, when I had my second miscarriage, my cycle wasn't as regular as it was after the first miscarriage. Second miscarriage, I couldn't time when I was ovulating. I didn't really know what was going on with my body. So uh, my friend who was in a, also in a journey in trying to conceive, she or her husband bought her the bracelet and she was like, hey, just check it out. But when I saw the price tag, I was like, girl, <laughs> you tripping. So it is about $300 to $400 depending on which plan you go with. But we're going to get into some um, options to reduce those costs later on in the video. I did the $300 plan and I have been such a big fan. I've been using it since maybe January or February. Um, maybe February 2019 and it has been so accurate. It's ridiculous. How does the Ava bracelet work? So the first thing you need to know is you only wear this bracelet at night. You do not wear it all day. It only measures your parameters in the evening. So if you're wearing it during the day, it's probably not going to work as well, but they also really advise that you do not wear it at night. In during the daytime you only wear it at night so I keep it plugged up during the day and before it's time to go to bed I make sure I slap it on and it's that simple what you do need to know is you need at least three hours I believe at least three hours of sleep so they can measure all of your parameters um, efficiently it tracks five things and I'm gonna pull up my notes on my phone because I don't have all of them memorized so the Ava bracelet tracks five parameters that affect fertility. The first one is your resting pulse rate. Um, the second is your skin temperature. So a lot of women who are trying to conceive usually buy a thermometer or a BBT thermometer, but this is essentially your thermometer. So it's all in one. It measures your breathing rate every night. So usually when you're when you conceive and when you're pregnant, your breathing rate gets higher because you got a lot going on down there and it measures your heart rate variability I took that oh yeah it says right here the lower your HRV ratio the less stressed you are so my HRVs have been extremely low and I'm happy because that means I'm managing the stress in my life <laughs> and sleep of course it measures your sleep it tells you your percentage of REM sleep versus light sleep and it also does a great job at it, like it it measures everything in this graph form and I'll show you guys what that looks like but I love it because I can say like okay I'm clearly not getting any sleep every Sunday but I'm getting lots of sleep every Wednesday so it's kind of showing me my own patterns outside of trying to conceive so I really really love that it measures all of those all of those things in a bracelet that you wear nightly and it's so simple I'm sorry I'm not really showing the bracelet it's not I don't know how to do that focus stuff hold on can you see it I don't know yeah there it is so it's very nice very chic 
Um, if you did happen to forget to take it off in the morning and you wore it out, it just looks like a normal bracelet. I love it. It has this almost like my Apple Watch. It, it, this part in the back lights up green and it kind of, sh it's like a sensor thing. It's really cool, it's so high tech, so that. Personally love that this bracelet has been super accurate for me at predicting my uh, six fertile days every month and it has been extremely predictive with my cycle, when my period's gonna start, when it's gonna end and it has helped me to figure out the rhythm of my body. So that's the first thing I like about it. Second thing I really love about it is that it confirms when you have a biphasic pattern, which essentially means it can confirm when you ovulated or it can confirm their date that they predicted you ovulated. If you look, I have a little check mark next to my ovulation symbol and it basically confirmed that I ovulated that day. So that was nice to know um, based off of my charts. They were able to read that that's awesome i love that they have different articles about fertility fertility tracking trying to conceive pregnancy menstruation everything so every single day kind of similar to thermometer they have some type of article for you to read so when my ava is sinking in the morning i'm usually reading that article i'll read it shortly after just to know what's going on in the scientific world i think it's so interesting to hear and to see all the science that goes into getting pregnant and, to, and sustaining a pregnancy, it's so amazing to me. And I have loved every moment of tracking my ovulation, eating better foods, and learning what vitamins do. It has been such a journey for me and it's really, really fun to be quite honest. And I don't know if that makes me weird. Maybe. Some of my dislikes though, and there aren't that many because like I said, I'm a huge fan of this bracelet. And I won't even say dislikes. I would say some of the things that I think Ava can improve on just a little bit. So I have found that it has not been consistent with my other apps. So I also use the OG period tracker. I was using that in college. So I just keep using it. And I also have recently started using Thermometer because I use the ovulation predictor Pregmate strips. Thermometer, I scan, I literally take a picture of my OPK test and it tells me where I am in my fertile cycle, my fertile window. Ava does not have that technology right now to pee on the ovulation stick because this is the ovulation stick essentially. But what I have found was thermometer is usually two days behind Ava or Ava is two days uh, before or ahead of thermometer. So for me, I don't know which one is the most Accurate, which one I should be going by. I've been trying to pay attention to my body. I log every single symptom that I feel, whether it's a headache, sore breasts, um, vaginal discharge, clear skin, bumpy skin. I track it all because that helps me get a holistic picture of when I may have actually ovulated. When it's time for me to start trying in August, I have to kind of merge and take the average between the two apps and figure out, you know, when to do the do, even though we plan to do it quite often. <laughs> so yeah, I just think that that's something that they can improve on. The last thing that I really want them to change, we have to charge this thing every single day. So like my Apple Watch, I can probably charge this like every two or three days, you know, fine. I do not like that I had to charge this thing, this thing every single day. So what I do to remember to charge it, as soon as I take it off, I put it right back on the charger. It's safe to leave on the charger all day. But let's say you charge it and it's fully charged in the morning. You take it off the charger and you come home, it's going to be dead. And they say something about leaving it on the charger all day. So that's the only annoyance. You have to remember to leave it plugged up if you work or you have to charge it like an hour or so before you go to bed. So I just leave mine plugged up, but it's like, really, y'all can't. It's 2019, get that together. So that's the only, those are the only things that I really think that they can improve on improve on but other than that i love this bracelet you guys again it is three to four hundred dollars depending on what plan you do but they do have a twenty dollar off code i don't have the code because i personally did the payment plan so they have um klarna which is like a i guess a credit thing um and you can sign up and get approved for installments so i just paid 
50 to 100 dollars a month and just paid it off because i didn't have the three four hundred dollars up front so if you are looking into purchasing this but you need a payment option because i do think it's great technology there's also that option as well but they do have 20 dollars off on their website i do not have my own code because i did do the installment plan but if you decide not to do the installment plan and pay for the bracelet up front you will get your own personalized code and you can share that every woman who signs up under you you do get a $20 gift card again this is not an ad this is not a partnership I just love the bracelet and I'm so glad that my friends suggested it to me and if any of you decide to try it please let me know how it works for you for some women it's not their thing for me it has been absolutely my fave I love seeing my charts and I'm, again I'm gonna try to put in a little screen recording we're gonna get a little fancy I'm gonna try to put in a screen recording just of how the app looks or the interface looks so you guys have have a better idea of what to what to expect if you do download the app and purchase it so overall it's a great 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 tool to utilize in this trying to conceive journey oh if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment below um, what you're using to track your fertility or ovulation or if you have any type of advice on how to better utilize this bracelet or my ovulation predictor kit test let me know i'm open for anything so excited you guys to start trying to conceive i have i'm in the middle of one cycle or i'm on like day i don't know eight of this cycle so in the beginning of august or middle of august i should be in that cycle and trying to conceive and i'm going to document that whole journey the whole thing all the way from predicting the ovulation date to the two week wait to hopefully the live pregnancy test and I'll be in Louisiana Louisiana when I take it. So that's going to be interesting. And my husband wants to be surprised. So comment some ideas below. He's not going to see these comments because he doesn't watch YouTube. So comment below on, how, on some ways you guys think I should surprise him if we do get pregnant in August. I'm so excited, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Share, like, subscribe. Let me know if you like this new camera. Yes! See you later. Bye.